Okay, I saw in a comment to a previous answer that there was some concern about how to find the endpoints that you're going to substitute into this function to find the height of the rectangle. And of course, delta x is the uh, right hand, that's like b minus a over the number of intervals, which in this case is six. So this is the width of each subinterval, one half. And if you want to find left endpoints, the first can be star a one and add these delta x's because we're not moving from here. And x of two would equal negative one plus one of these right-hand endpoints, uh, one, uh, neg one of these uh, delta x's, and so on. x sub 6 would equal negative 1 plus 5 of these delta x's will take you to 1.5. So you could actually uh, generalize a formula for x sub n by saying, well, it's negative 1 plus n minus 1 times the number of subintervals. So that equals negative 1 plus 1 half n minus 1 half. So it's actually negative 3 halves plus n over 2. And if you develop that formula, then you don't have to do all these calculations. You can just substitute uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six in here. So for example, if I substitute six for n, I get negative three halves plus six halves is three halves, which is x sub six right there. And if you want to use right endpoints, instead of uh, x sub one equal negative one plus zero, intervals, we're actually going to move to the right-hand endpoint. So we'll add on one of these delta x's. And for x sub 6, we'll start at negative 1 and move 6 of these delta x's to get to the right-hand endpoint, which is x sub 6. Similarly, you could come up with a formula for x sub n. It's negative 1 plus n of these subintervals. So negative 1 plus n over 2. And finally, midpoint, that's a little bit harder. Okay, you have to take the midpoint of the uh, segment with these endpoints right here. So here's the right hand endpoint, plus here's the left hand endpoint over two. That will give you the midpoint of the first subinterval. And here's actually the development of a formula for the midpoint of each subinterval. I won't take you through this, but there's the final answer. So that means you could put one in, two, three, four, five, and six in for n to find uh, the midpoint that you're going to use to plug into three plus two x squared to get the height of the rectangle. And of course, once you've got the height, uh, length times width will give you the area and it's height times one half. Okay, and here's proof, or here's an example of one that's working. Put 4 in for n into this formula. You get 3 fourths, and there is x sub 4 right there, 3 fourths. Okay, hope that helped you finding uh, endpoints, and if you have any questions, post a comment.